Um, so the fundamental challenge with data centers today is that the IT services are becoming very complex, right? Once upon a time, as you know, IT services were, you know, uh, built on mainframes, and then, then they got to be on client server type architectures. Today's IT services are typically uh, uh, built on uh, web architecture. So you have a lot of components to an IT service, you know, everything from uh, applications to servers to networks to storage. Uh, and with technologies like virtualization and cloud computing and so on, uh, you can see that the IT services are becoming even more complex. So most of our customers are currently uh, challenged with, one, understanding what is their IT service, what are the components that makes up this IT service, and then two, uh, how do I I now automate and uh, actually make changes to these IT services in a uh, error-free and in an automated way, so that uh, you know I can I can um, ensure the SLAs that I have committed to my enterprise. So most of our customers come to us uh, looking for solutions that allow them to automate that into an IT service and allow them to automate that IT service um, um, with uh, with zero errors and with very high confidence. Uh, that's, that's a very good question. I mean, the first uh, step in uh, in understanding the complexity of your, of your IT service is uh, is to uh, baseline your IT service. And, and baseline here, uh, you know, generally refers to the task of discovering that IT service, discovering, you know, what's my SAP application? You know, what are the components of web app, the web servers, app servers, database servers that makes up the SAP application? What physical hosts, uh, or for that matter, virtual uh, machines are they deployed on? Uh, you know, right. what are the network resources and what are the storage uh, you know infrastructure elements that actually supports that that SAP application so you start out by baselining that application and once you baseline the application you know once you have uh, all of the components identified you have um, all of the configurations of these components uh, identified or the interrelationships between these components defined uh, you can start to make changes to these applications um, so you know obviously you know when you make changes to these applications uh, it's very important that that uh, you know you understand the impacts of making that change. Uh, it's also very important that um, you know once you have understood the impacts and that you are implementing the changes, that you have an integrated way by which you can affect changes across all these components that makes up an IT application. I mean, these components are just so intertwined today. So um, that that when you make a change to let's say a storage component, right, you may have to make a change to the server and the applications that actually consume that storage. Uh, you may have to make a change to the network element and some load balancers, you know, which may be part of the of the servers or the applications that 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 you're just provisioning. So you need a comprehensive solution that allows you to not only automate every component of that IT service, but also mm -hmm. allows you to automate all of these changes in tandem. Uh, lastly, it's also very important that you have solutions in place that also allows you to assure compliance of, of all of these components. And, and compliance comes in you know, two forms, right? You may have regulatory compliance like SOX and HIPAA and PCI that, that we know about, uh, but compliance also refers to you know, internal standards, right? You may have best practice standards that you may have defined for certain infrastructure elements, and uh, you want to ensure that all your infrastructure elements are indeed configured the same way so that you know you can assure performance and availability of your application and you can also um, ensure st uh, standards in terms of you know how these uh, infrastructures are configured so again it's it's that full life cycle of the um, of managing the IT service. It's understanding what is that IT service, it's understanding how to make changes to these IT services in an integrated way, and then lastly and very importantly, uh, ensuring that all of these components, uh, you know, fit into your compliance, uh, you know, standards, internal or, or regulatory. Internal. So, so HP um, uh, has created a, a suite of products uh, or, or, or a solution suite known as the business service automation that allows you to automate that end-to-end -end service. Uh, some of the key attributes of the HP solution, uh, you know, are the following. First and foremost, we have a uh, a shareable uh, CMDB at 
the uh, base platform for this uh, for the business service automation suite. Uh, so we have a comprehensive CMDB that provides you shareable visibility into what is that IT service and what are the components that makes up that IT service. Uh, secondly, uh, we have bought together uh, very many automation products. So we have a server automation product, a network automation product, a storage uh, a management solution, as well as a client automation product, which allows you to automate each and every component of that IT service. Uh, so, you know, each of these products, um, you know, provides automation for the respective infrastructure, maybe servers, application, network, storage, or the client that makes up that IT service. Um, thirdly, uh, we have uh, runbook automation technologies that allow you to automate uh, processes across the entire IT service. So, uh, the runbook automation technology called operations orchestration within uh, the HP Business Service Automation Suite allows you to automate an end-to-end -end process. Um, and you know, these processes can be um, uh, anything from you know a simple repetitive task that you that you that you, you may do within a domain, or it can be something as complex as provisioning an Oracle database where you may want to provision it on a brand new Linux server with let's say some storage to be provisioned on the back end and some some load balancing clustering that needs to happen once the Oracle database has been, has been created. So the operations orchestration product allows you to coordinate this entire task uh, and, and uh, entire process and you know bring the entire process to life. Um, Lastly, and very importantly, you know, HP, uh, you know, strongly believes that any automation solution that we deploy today has to be scalable and um, um, and has to be, you know, uh, uh, has to scale to the entire enterprise. So it's not enough that you know you you bring in an automation solution to manage hundred a uh, hundred servers or or a few storage elements. You need to have an enterprise class solution that uh, allows you to manage tens of thousands of servers. You know, thousands of network devices and, and storage elements and, 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 and you know clients within your within your enterprise. So we as HP Business Service Automation um, have bought together all the pieces of the puzzle, have tightly integrated all the pieces of the puzzle, um, and you know have the most integrated uh, solution that really scales to um, the needs of you know most mission critical applications. Uh, within Very good question. So, so, so we did a, a survey with IDC recently. Uh, we, we went out and talked to uh, very many data center managers and uh, and, and directors. And uh, what we heard back from them uh, overwhelmingly uh, pointed to the fact that customers are indeed looking for uh, comprehensive and more importantly integrated solutions. Eighty percent of the of the uh, audiences that we talked to, that we polled, uh, came back and told us that they are looking for not only best of breed solutions but they're also looking for best of breed solutions that are tightly integrated to each other so that you know the, the one the integration risk is taken out of uh, taken out of the equation and two customers can find value you know uh, very quickly with the automation suite.